Practice makes us all perfect. Now, how do you apply that for your SBR paper is what I'm going to be discussing in this video. So stay tuned till the end. for SBR paper and I have uh, made this video specially for all SBR students out there who are looking to get uh, great marks uh, 80 plus in SBR or who are looking at how to use the last 10-15 days effectively so that they can pass in their SBR examination. So this video is uh, curating all tips for your SBR paper so do watch it till the end. And guys, please do share this video with more of your friends, like the video, do drop in a comment below on how you found the tips and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. To begin with, let's break down the SBR paper. It has two sections, section A, section B. Uh, section A comes for 50 marks, section B also comes for 50 marks. So typically you should be spending one and a half hour for section A, one and a half hour for section B. And my suggestion is in the exam you start with section B and then move on to section A. Reason being sometimes you know consolidation can consume a lot of time and uh, I do not want you to waste time in the examination. So first let's begin with section B. Now section B has two questions and each of the question is for 25 marks. So spend about 45 minutes for each of the question. Now 45 minutes includes reading the question, analyzing it and writing it. So you need to plan it accordingly. Now each question is going to have sub questions. Don't time uh, too much. Uh, don't time yourself too much in the examination because you're wasting time. Uh, you know, checking the time constantly in the exam. What you should be doing? Okay, I'm uh, starting with this question. I should be finishing it in 45 minutes. And then uh, just see. Okay, 45 minutes are over. How much is left? Should I leave it or should I move on to the next one? Then. Uh, when you are answering section B questions, now what you should be keeping in mind? First is you look at high weightage uh, topics when you are practicing. So something like financial instruments always comes in every attempt, non-current assets, impairment, tangible assets. Uh, again, these topics tend to come every attempt. Sorry, do quantity in these topics because you know these topics will come in the exam. So try and solve all questions from your financial instruments, non-current assets, or from whatever material you're using, ACC study hub, Kaplan kit, BPP kit. So first focus on these topics which always always come. Do all questions from these topics. Now coming to the next topics which tend to come every one or two attempt, uh, which includes your taxation, your leases, your uh, employee benefits, share based payment. Now these topics tend to come every once in two attempt. So for these topics what you do is typically solve one question full fledged, the rest you can go through. So try and write at least one question for each of these topics, the rest you simply go through. So you will be comfortable with all of these topics. Now for the remaining topics just go through the answers because you don't know if a question will come or no and you do not want to waste a lot of time, it's better to look at more questions. Now again when you are looking at questions, don't uh, read it like a magazine, it's not going to help. You read the question, analyze the question uh, and you can write three points for each of your question. Now what are these three points? Uh, state what the standard says, application, conclusion. Typically these three things is only required in your exam. So at least write the pointers for each of the question, then go back read the answer key. So if you are able to analyze the question, then that is working well for you in the right direction is what you are moving. You should be able to analyze the question and understand what points to write. You don't have to write all the points in detail when you are practicing. Because while practicing we need to do lot of topics, lot of questions rather than doing less of questions. So this strategy you can adopt for your section B. Now moving on to your section A. Okay, uh, first let's discuss the ethics question which comes for 20 marks. In this question, I would suggest again, uh, it's very similar. Okay, all questions are very similar. So you write two to three questions and uh, you will be comfortable with the ethics part of it. And you should target a good 15 out of 20 in this question because this is the scoring part in your exam. Ethics question is going to be very scoring. So please target it really well. Now moving on to the last question which is consolidation. 
where most of the students get stuck and they find it difficult. But again, let's break down this. For consolidation, please solve all the questions. Okay, you will have to sit and do all the questions. Uh, how many of the questions you do, you will get more comfortable with it. Uh, because again, it's an Excel based question. Students find difficult with Excel linking. Uh, sometimes you get stuck with formulas, presentation. So focus more on consolidation question while practicing. Now again, while practicing, how should you look at it? Typically, if you see a question will be for 15 to 20 marks. Uh, I'm talking about the calculation and the Excel part of it. Again, this 15 to 20 marks is broken down for working notes and for Excel linking. So if you're finding Excel linking very difficult, please focus a lot on your working notes. Make sure your working notes are clear. Make sure your working notes presentation are fine. Uh, so focus on that. For consolidation, how many of our questions you get? Uh, you will have about 10, maximum 10 to 15 questions is what you can find. Please do the working notes of all of these really, really well. Once your working note is done, my suggestion is pass a journal entry. See what is the debit, what is the credit, which ledger has to increase, decrease and then go to your Excel and link it accordingly. If you are going to follow this step, you will not find your Excel linking very, very difficult or complicated. So please ensure that you do your working, pass a journal entry and then do your Excel linking. If you follow this three method, you will find your group accounting consolidation very easy. It can happen that you might take a little extra time uh, initially, but that's why you need to practice guys, because once you practice, you're going to make yourself better and faster. Then your brain is also going to process things faster. Probably in the exam, then you do not have to write all the journal entries. Your brain is processing it and you just go back and link it to your Excel. So please try and follow this method for your group accounting. A lot of my students have used this method, this mechanism and were able to get really good marks in group accounting. Because group accounting is again little more easier, the reason being it's only solving. So uh, we tend to find more calculative questions easier. Plus these are the scoring part in your paper. So focus on your group accounting. Do all questions of group accounting. Uh, ethics, do two to three questions. Financial instruments, non-current assets, do all questions. From rest of the topics, solve one or two questions, the rest you go through. Uh, so this could be your practice strategy for SBR um, and trust me, uh, you know, if you're going to follow this, you will feel very confident and comfortable before your examination. I hope you found this tip and this video useful. In case you require any kind of personalized guidance for SBR, FR, uh, you can reach out to me, details have been provided. And guys, please do subscribe to my channel, share it with more of your friends, do like the video and do drop in a comment below on how you found the tips. I'll be back with more such tips and content. Till then, take care. See you all.